Hi, this is Mr. Ward, and this is the Pre-Algebra Do Now uh, 28.2 video key. Uh, who are you? Well, I'm the key, but you are you. So let's see. Let's identify. We would identify the coordinates for B prime, C prime, Z, and Z prime if triangle BCZ were reflected across the y-axis. So it's helpful to start off by figuring out what are B, C, and Z. Well, B is the point um, negative 4, negative 3. So negative 4, negative 3. That is a really thick pen. Okay. Uh, what's going to happen with each point is the x value is going to change to positive. So over here, I'm going to have, uh, if I reflect over the y-axis, the y value will stay the same and the x value is going to change its sign. Okay, I need to figure out if I can change the size of this pin, but not right now. So I'm gonna go to four, negative three. So that's gonna be that point. This point, z, is gonna, which is currently negative two, negative one, is going to become positive two, negative one. So that will be z prime. That's C prime. That's going to be B prime. And then this point C, which is going to be, is currently at negative, uh, negative one, negative five, is going to go to positive one, positive five. So that's going to be C prime. Okay. And so we can connect our dots like that. And there is our image from our object or pre-image over here. Okay, let me scroll down a little bit. So uh, B prime is going to be um, 4 comma negative 3. We change the sign of the x value, the x coordinate. C prime is going to be positive 1, negative 5. So we change the sign of the x coordinate from negative one, negative five to positive one, negative five. And then finally, z prime is going to be, and I'm gonna just move it past this so you can see it, going to be going from negative two, negative one to positive two, negative one. So we're just changing the sign of the x coordinate when you flip over the y axis. If we flipped over the x axis, we change the sign of the y coordinate. All right, let's keep moving down. Let's see if I can move that over. Okay, I'm not sure that there's a way to change the size of my pen. That's very weird. Okay, that's very annoying. Okay, so now we're going to identify B, C, B prime, C prime, and N prime, B prime, C prime, and Z prime if we rotate it at 90 degrees clockwise around the origin. So if I'm going clockwise around the origin, 90 degrees, the first thing that's going to happen is the X's and Y's are going to swap, okay? But if I'm going 90 degrees clockwise, not only are the X's and the Y's going to swap position, the Y's are now going to be, pos going to be positive. They're going to switch signs, I should say. The whatever becomes Y switches signs. So if B prime, or if B is currently negative four, negative three, B prime, I'm gonna switch negative four and negative three, and it'll be negative three, negative four, except that the Y value is now gonna be positive, okay? And then uh, C prime, and I'll show this on the graph in a second, C prime, is gonna and so b is b is gonna go to b prime, which will now be negative three, positive four, right there. I'll go ahead and plot it. Flump. Okay, and then c prime is gonna go from negative one, negative five to negative five, positive one. Okay, so it went from negative one, negative five. Two five negative five positive one. So I'm going to go to negative five positive one there. So C clockwise went there. That's C prime. Okay, C prime, 
B prime. And then Z prime is going to go from Z prime is going to be uh, going from negative 2, negative 1 uh, to negative 1, positive 2. So the X's and the Y's swapped and the Y's switched signs. So I'm going to go to negative 1, positive 2, and that will be Z prime. And I can connect my dots, flump, flump, flump. Those are the most amazing straight lines you've ever seen in your life, I know. All right, now we're going to rotate it the other way. <clears throat> okay. We rotate it the other way. Be, I'm going to grab all of those because it's going to be an interesting pattern. The X is in the Y swap position, but in this case, it's not the Y's that change sign, but the X's that change sign. So I can just go through and take what I already did, change those Y's back to negative, and then change the X's to positives because these are all switching switching coordinate values, uh, but then the X's will become positive. I'm going 90 degrees counterclockwise, which means I'm going to take everything that is currently in quadrant three and put it in quadrant four. So you could conceptually think of quadrant four, X is positive, because we're to the right of the Y axis, and Y is negative because we're below the X axis. So I can plot all of those points, three negative four, so three negative four right there, that's B prime, and then 5, negative 1, right here, that's going to be C prime. And Z prime will be 1, negative 2, right there. So that'll be Z prime. And I have rotated it 90 degrees counterclockwise. The coordinates switched, and this time the X changed signs. It's not that the X became positive, it's simply that it swapped signs. If I had going, gone from quadrant one to quadrant two, the X would have changed signs too, but it would have changed to a negative. <clears throat> okay. So let's go on to the next one here. And so here we are, we're gonna identify the coordinates for B prime, C prime, and Z prime. If triangle BCZ were rotated 180 degrees across around the origin. And so what's going to happen with all of these? So C is going to keep its X and Y's, but the signs are both going to change. So if I copied all of that, what's going to happen is I'm going to end up with positive 4, positive 3. Okay. Let me actually put it in as the original. So the original, if it was B and C and Z, the original was negative four, negative three, and it was negative one, negative five. That was my original. And you know, I should say rotating 180 degrees is one of the easier rotations. Okay. so. That's my originals. B prime will now switch signs for both coordinates. C prime will switch signs for both coordinates. And Z prime will switch signs for both coordinates. And now we can plot them all. So I'll plot them all with my little marker. So B becomes B prime, so B goes to B prime at 4, 3. There's B prime. And then C goes to C prime at 1, 5. Right there. I was about to plot it at 1, 4. C prime. And then Z at negative 1, negative 2 goes to C prime at 1, 2. Oops, I think I messed that up. Z prime is at negative two. Ah, you may have caught me on that one. I think I tricked myself. 
Okay, so that's going to be 2, 1. So the original was negative 2, negative 1, and then I'm going to go to 2, 1. There I am. So everything is just right across, if you like, diagonal it from here to here. B is um, kind of a twisted mirror image. So this is a like a reflection, but it's a twisted reflection uh, across the origin uh, when we do this 180. So we've rotated C 180 degrees, Z 180 degrees, and B 180 degrees. It actually doesn't matter whether I went clockwise or counterclockwise for 180 degrees. It works either way. All right, I hope that helped, and I will stop.